Hello, so let's play a real game with the Africa Corps. Now, this will be funny because <laughs> I'm not very good with the Africa Corps, and I think they are a very good faction as a, kind of a support faction. They fill in the gaps between heavy armor, between heavy infantry. I guess they are not very good at anything, but are very good at a lot of other things. Especially, they are kind of medium sized units that can do anything. You will see. I think they're starting to grow on me, to be honest. They have everything you could use. Orders. Get moving. Quick march. And not only that, I feel like they have a very good doctrine. Now, to be honest, they don't have a lot of good stuff over here. It's mostly, like I said, it's support. Hmm, that's an interesting one. But I feel like the bonuses are not enough, and this is mostly Air Force. I kind of like this upgrade method a lot more. But over here, you just have to take the tank, or at least that's what I feel. I try to use the health truck more or less to distract the enemies, even though they can destroy it. Usually you need a machine gunner to protect all of this area, but mm, I don't know, I'm trying to improvise and have a little fun, while the players don't really know what to do. Because once players know what to do, they'll just lock down entire areas with a single squad, and that will not be very fun. There's a funny of, of saying, let's find some trouble, boys. <laughs> yeah, that will take a while. I kind of like the upgrade system, it's very intuitive. I don't know, the other German faction is a little bit weird because it's so heavy on stuff, I mean you you can upgrade everything to the max by but by the time you upgrade everything to the max, you already feel like you're behind. So this is great thing, so I guess I should also have the packs of this. I guess no one expects a health truck over here so fast. I guess we can chase. Yes. I guess we can also get a flame gewehr because that will also be fun. I guess we can push them out of the territory completely. <laughs> I guess no one really wants to attack that. Okay, fine by me. I'm 
I'm not sure I'm getting my upgrades uh, in the right way, but it's kind of fun to do it like this. Yeah, this is not worth it, but it's so much fun. Yeah, this barely kills them. But little do they know. Come on, you can do it. Okay, now I can focus my attacks on another side of the map. By using my grenadiers. Yeah, that sniper is not going to go well with me, so let's see what else we can do. I guess we'll need the grenades as soon as possible. Yeah, it's more like a upgrade based thing, I don't know how to describe it. Get a depot set up. You have orders for us? You have problems, we have answers. Territory secured. All quiet. I guess I should upgrade this fuel depot as well. Yeah, the mortar would have been much better on the half track, but then again... It's just so fun to use the auto cannon. Even though it doesn't really do a lot of damage, yeah, I guess the mortar would have been a better choice. This is more like, you know. That should hold you for now. Get us the fuck out of here! To suppress them much better. Oh, the snipers. I guess I can play a little more like this. Okay, sorry I'm not playing too much. Eh? I think I'll just go all of, over the place here. Yeah. I think I need to insist on my armored vehicles this game. Experienced crews have been called forth to lead our mechanized forces. I should like to have grenades on them. Yeah, and also you will use mostly Panzer Grenadiers because their squad size is amazing if you upgrade it. Come on. Adrad armored car has entered the field. These are also very <laughs> kind of funny. Now imagine this is just tin can. This is a real armored personal carrier. But with a lot more guns on it. Mm, I guess I can use these guys to maneuver around the battlefield a little more. But actually, no, where we have all of the advantages, so. Mm. Yeah, I guess I was not really paying attention, but these guys are losing badly. So unless they get very heavy armor, they don't have a chance. Yeah, 
Yeah. Oh, they're very heavy anti-armor, okay. They also have rudimentary repress, uh, repress, that's why... Fine, we'll get another one. Yeah, as long as the enemy don't scale up too much, you can... You can basically sit around and do nothing. <laughs> Oh wow, the FPS is very bad sometimes, I don't know why. Yeah, they have quite a lot of defenses over here, I don't know why. Well, I guess it's time for the pain to really begin. I guess I can team them up with the engineers. Fix what you can. My boat nose standing by. Commandant, we hear you. Okay, as long as we don't need to push, yeah, I guess the enemies are playing very badly. So this can happen a lot of times, as you can see. You have tested it, right? There is barely any movement on the front lines. I guess I can even push even more. The enemy doesn't use a lot of positional warfare, they just sit around. I guess I'll have to play another game because this was not really representative of anything. It just let us do whatever we wanted, and now it's kind of fun. Not already obligated. Huh. Yeah, and once you get the repair kits, you're basically going to defend with light, light uh, armor everywhere. Like this, I don't really need to do anything, like I said, sometimes you just win by default because then we cannot gather enough supplies to attack you. Just love these things, the Stuka rocket launchers, you will see how much fun you can have with these. As for the heavy tanks, sadly we'll have to play without the heavy tanks because, well, Apparently we don't really need them. Wait, what is this one doing? Come back. Well, I guess we just win by default here. Yeah, we have to play another one. That was too one sided. Now, I like to play 4 versus 4 because I think that's the. Yeah, we didn't do much damage anyway because they didn't really attack. If you play 4 versus 4, it's kind of like the best way to experience the game, and that's my opinion about it. If you're going to play 1 versus 1, it's going to be annoying. If you're going to play 2 versus 2, it's going to be a lot of duels and a lot of 
positions you can attack you cannot attack if you're going to play free versus free it's going to be very static but anything can happen and four versus four i guess while we wait we can read some comments related to the playtest now a lot of people are angry about the playtest because for most people it doesn't work the right and a lot of people are experiencing low fps <laughs> someone is saying don't make another one because they're very close to remaking uh, Dawn of War 3, Age of Empires 4 and what was that other game they messed up? Hmm, probably this one will be the one no player info, no team tag info had, yeah, okay. the, yeah, the game feels stiff and slow and also the UI is kind of badly designed, I'm just reading off the Steam discussion. Okay, we have a game. So now I can analyze all of the factions and all we are doing here to play. Mm, I'm afraid that the matchmaking will be a little weird because as you saw, that time they didn't even really get to attack us. Because of all of those things. I guess if you're fighting against the Germans, you basically don't really have to use vehicles at all because they'll just smash them so fast. But then again, that was supposed to transport troops, not really fight infantry or anything else like that. On the other, other hand, Yeah, well, I, I guess it's very good for the engineers to travel around in their own APC, especially because I remember in other companies of Hero, they get their APC so slow. Mm. Mm. I guess we'll just play a little more normal. <laughs> This one is a much harder map than that one. That one was too small for positional warfare, you couldn't move around the map. By the way, these things are also pretty cool, but I don't really like to get them. Armored warfare, yeah. That would be useful, but in certain situations. I think you would say the downside to this faction is that it doesn't have any heavy armor. Well, it has heavy armor. I guess we can play around a little with this thing now. I'm also not very sure what my role is in this game is because I played Company of Heroes 2 a lot but sadly I only played the multiplayer at the end of its life when it was very weird and annoying. I guess these guys will have to be number 3. Hmm. I'm not sure what the enemies are doing again. Most of the times it feels like the enemy is not doing anything. Night support headquarters, right there. Panzer Grenadiers standing by. Panzer Grenadiers relocating. These are very afraid of me. Yeah, this MG can do a lot of damage in the beginning. Nah, 
I'll not go for that one. It's, it's not really worth it. I guess I'll just go for their grenades and play a normal game. And get my second Panzer squad. Panzer Grenadier squad. What do you need? And this guy should have the flamethrower already. Panzer get moving! Quick march! Oh wow, that was a great catch. I might lose the half shot, but it's worth it, I think. I guess people don't really know how to react to stuff like this anymore because you're not supposed to get vehicles so fast in a normal company of heroes. I guess the timing is very, very weird. Territory lost! Ready, willing and able. Ready on your work. Grab your gear, we're heading out. A strategic point is being taken from us. I guess I could get this. Mm, no, no. Must resist. Territory sector out of contact. Territory captain. We hold it. Ready for orders. Make it quick. You have orders for us? The box is finest here. I can let him get that one for a bit. The vehicle depot's ready. Panzer freeze, murder freeze, and tiger. Yeah, well, I guess that one is not really worth it. Let me think about that. Uh, we have vehicles available in reserve. Mm, no, I need a tank destroyer. Ready for orders. I guess no one is really doing anything. Like I said, this is one of those games where them is a little too afraid. Yeah. Like I said, no one expects vehicles this heavy this early. Just too much stuff. We have surplus munitions to support the war effort. Panzerjäger are reporting in. Experienced crews have been called forth to lead our mechanized forces. Ah, that's key. 
you have problems, we have answers. <laughs> I guess you can mm, restore it more or less. Tooled up and moving. Yeah, you can do it. It's a little bit of a um, annoying thing to do, but I guess it's more or less the same. We have surplus munitions to support the war effort. Good job, we have coordinates. Men. Get us moving. The territory sector has been claimed by the enemy. I guess I can leave them alone for a little bit until the. Oh yeah, this is better. Not anything for us. Anything exciting out there? New coordinates. Follow me. I guess we should just go and attack them. What will it be? Listen up! Let them that was close! Too close! Faster! Push it! Panzer shall finish this fight! Get their Order command post up and running. Those troopers are firing at us! Glory away! Feet to deserve! Vehicle moving! What do you need? Clearing a path. My crew is dead! Get us the fuck out of here! Receiving orders! Loud and light! <laughs> yeah, everyone retreats when they see these guys. I guess one I'm just helping holding them on the back foot while my ally does this. Keep firing! No, this isn't right! No, this press them. Problems, we have answers. Enemy patrol! Engines running! Yamo! Don't fall behind! Machine gewehr! Take cover! Oh yeah! Oh wow! Uh, yeah, they actually cut me without my infantry. The victory point is being taken from us. Then died. As was throwing the grenade, I guess. Oh. The enemy has taken a victory point. Keep up your pace. Three command points are available. We have a battle group awaiting use. Oh, don't get super, don't get pinned down. Yeah, I made a mistake over there. I should have been a little more patient. I guess I can play the little my little game that I usually play with them. Nobody should dare pass you, Kata. Well, 275, yeah, as you can see, it will be a lot better if I just summon them like that. Because it gives you access to so much infantry. I think I can. We'll get about a little bit more infantry. Okay, let's just have a lot more elite infantry. Artillery team need orders. The enemy has dropped to 300 points. The fight continues. Orders. Looks like you had a look at them repairing like that. Starting repair, taking that location from the enemy. I guess there's not much they can do unless two or three or even three players attack me. Oh, 
You know, I'm tired of that. Oh, I retreated them as they were firing. Okay. I guess that smashed them pretty good. It's kind of ridiculous how much firepower you can just get by simply standing around with these guys. I guess I will play the cap. Orders, driver. Cat went ahead for on our asses. Commandant, grab a target. No way. Double. Leave him. He stands. We have the upper hand. The enemy has 250 points. Back to base. He has closed the distance. Yeah, just more terrible thing, that's incredible, yeah, it's a little overpowered, it's, well, at least from my point of view of, you know, not just an average co uh, company of heroes players. Uh, is he seriously attacking with that? Okay. Points that should be used. Watch his fire! Your distance! <laughs> Just too much anti tank stuff. Get the hell out of here! Afraid. Run! Fire! Looks like I can push even more than this, but do you really need to push more than this? Fight Not really. I guess we can increase the meme. Got anything for us? Anything exciting? Loud and clear, Commandant! Stop it, fine! Let's cover both lines! Granada, fire! So I guess we'll just keep the map over here. What is that? They're really gathering too much in one area. This becomes super sketchy. I guess we can double down on that. The battle is in your favor, Commandant. Fifty points remain. Nothing is really happening on my side of the map. <laughs> Only 25 points remain for our enemy. Only 
only 10 points remain. Enemy forces are yeah, I guess we just outmatched them by just building a much better defensive and I think we could have pushed even more, but I think you kind of get the idea of the uh, of the current way to play the game. And I didn't even play that well and I also... I, well, I guess I did a lot of damage. And I didn't even use those guys for a long time because I thought that they were going to give us a lot of headaches, but no. I guess they're all new players, more or less. I played very badly because I mostly waited for them to attack me if I was going to. Yeah, I guess I like this Africa Core faction because it gives you a lot of options, but at the same time, I think it will be super hard to play against because it's maneuverable. You have a lot of firepower, you have a lot. Of, I guess it's all about having medium firepower and medium maneuverability and medium vehicles. And it, they are very hard to dislodge from opposition because they just summon one of those uh, APCs, upgraded to a mortar, and then have that crew over there. That is basically almost unmovable. It could get very annoying because they also repair very quickly and they also have a lot of blitzkrieg possibilities. But they don't really have a lot of big armor stuff. I guess a Panzer IV is pretty big. Anyway, see you next time. Bye.